All right, what's up? So in this video, I wanna go over why 99% of people who drop ship actually end up failing. Now, that may sound like a crazy statement to make, which only makes 1% of people who dropship actually succeed. If that sounds scary, well, it should be, but also know that the 1% all the way at the top, there's a lot of room up there. So if you are watching this video and you feel like you're part of the 99% right now, you feel like you're not making dropshipping work, this video is for you because I know a lot of you guys are struggling and a lot of you guys need to kind of reframe and reshift your mind to look at things in a better perspective. So allow me to kind of go into it. 99% of people who drop ship are not only super lazy people, but I'm gonna go into a couple other things in this video as things that I've learned over my past year or so drop shipping and kind of bring that knowledge over to you guys to bring you over to the 1% where you belong. 99% of people who actually drop ship will never watch a video like this. So in a sense, you watching this video almost kind of brings you closer and closer to the 1% that you actually need to be in to succeed with drop shipping. The 1% of drop shippers is a huge huge space and there's so much room for people to go ahead and join the 1% of dropshippers. This is your invitation to do so. First thing I want to go over is why should you listen to me? Well, my name is Ben and I have been dropshipping for just a little over a year. And in this month of January alone, from January 1st to January 21st, I've done just over half a million dollars in store revenue. Now pushing for a million dollars a month, but I have learned a thing or two over the year and over the past months, and I wanna bring that information over to you guys. Now, the first thing I wanna go over why a lot of dropshippers fail is the most obvious, mindset. And so this is something you hear me talk about in some of my videos, everyone else talk about, but what does it actually mean? I think to be in the dropshipping mindset not only is a mindset that has been told time and time again to not give up, also a mindset that thinks outside of the box. As a dropshipper, you cannot be doing what everyone else is doing because that is how you lose. Doing the things that this person's doing and then taking a derivative from this person, it will never ever work. And it's what I used to do and saw no results and I'd wonder why. And I know it's what a lot of you guys will do as well. You need to put yourself in this mindset of I will do things differently than the rest of the crowd. Therefore, I will get results that nobody else gets. And that works to the fullest extent, I promise you. I challenge you after this video to go out, test a product that you would not normally test, build a store that you wouldn't normally build and try to advertise on a platform that you wouldn't normally advertise on, things will sooner or later work out in your favor, I promise you. It's the best decision I've ever made and the best mindset shift that I've put myself in is doing things differently than other people. Now, another thing that I wanna go over is product selection. If you're watching one of my videos for the first time or you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know that my product selection method is super simple and easy. I'm not looking on any of these spy tools with a bunch of different filters. I'm not looking for any secret needle in the haystack stack like a lot of you guys are, but I'm simply looking for a product that just solves a problem or in better terms that I like to put it is provides value to a person. If your product can provide value to a person, then it is a winning product. It is that simple. That is my product criteria. Does this product provide value? And if it provides value, okay, great. Is it new to the market? I think all of us have seen shapewear. We've all seen the pheromone perfume, but when you check off the criteria box, they all provide value, but they're not new to the market. So my key crucial part of my product research method is does it provide value and is it something new to the market? Now, if you're a beginner and you have no idea if you can assess if something's new to the market or not, do not think you're alone because I was in the same exact situation. I was completely new to drop shipping and I was always told to find things new to the market, but I never knew what has actually been in the market. And so this is when I just needed to kind of talk to someone more experienced. There is no simple answer to this roadblock that I had. I wish there was an easier answer I could give to you guys, but the best way to be able to find products that are newer to the market is ask and be in communication with someone who has already been in the market for a long time. For example, if you wanna go ahead and you're a complete beginner and you see the pheromone perfume, you'd say, oh, Ben told me this provides value and therefore it's a great product. But when you go ahead and test it, you'd wonder why it doesn't do well. And that's because it's been in the market. So the best way to combat this is join a community, talk to high level people who have been in the game for a while and know 
of the products that have already done well. Therefore, I created Value Club. If you want to join Value Club, it's a very high level net worth Discord server, and it is completely about drop shipping. We do all Shopify drop shipping in there with advanced level strategies, beginner level strategies, and everything you need to know to be able to find your first or another winning product. If you want to talk to people and be able to validate your winning products to make sure that they are actually new to the market and will do well, go ahead and look at the Value Club Discord server link and join for completely free. With that next point out of the way, I want to ask you, are you building a drop shipping store or a brand? Wait, 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 wait. Supply chain issues is the number one way that chargebacks come in on a store. Could you believe that? Supply chain is the number one reason people get chargebacks. And so this part of the video is sponsored by AutoDS. You haven't already heard of the number one supplier in the absolute dropshipping game. AutoDS is a platform you can go ahead and download on your store for completely free. Their job is to make sure that your store is taken care of 24 7 365 they are going to be able to be on your drop shipping store and fulfill your orders without even having to think about it AutoDS makes it super simple to go ahead automate your fulfillment and make sure that all your orders get shipped out if you want to talk to super sketchy suppliers that aren't going to ship out your orders then you will get absolutely messed up not by your store and your customers but payment processors as well go ahead protect your store download AutoDS, and what they've done for this channel is offered you guys 20% off your first month with AutoDS. Not only that, but they've offered you guys an extended free trial to use their platform for completely free. So go ahead, check the link in the description and sign up with the link down below. I think a lot of dropshippers, they have this common headspace where it's all about being a dropshipper, right? How can I build my store the fastest? How can I get my product test out the fastest? How can I spend the least amount of money to get the most results? But when you really take a step back and think, okay, what does it take to build a brand? My best recommendation and what I've done is look at the biggest brands in the space. Look at Nike, look at Gymshark, look at any of these other e-commerce brands like StockX, look at eBay, look at Instagram, and you reverse how they have been able to grow. And when you realize that they're not only just running TikTok ads to be able to grow growth to their platforms, they're not just only staying on one channel, they're not just doing one mode of transportation to grow, but they look at themselves as a business. If you look at any of these clothing brands, any clothing brand that you've shopped at, Nordstrom, Macy's, or manufacturers themselves like Nike, Gymshark, you will realize that they are brands and why is that is because they've done things differently and so i think i want to pass that question on to you now is are you building a drop shipping store where you'll hit highs of 5 10 even 20k days on a website that took you 30 minutes to build ads that took you 45 minutes to make and on your TikTok ad manager but will die in the next week or are you looking for something where you can go ahead and build a store that will last years I think a lot of people and especially you guys are getting tired of building these stores and then having them die right afterwards and it's the unfortunate truth because it's what a lot of you guys are taught so change your mindset and start reverse engineering what all these biggest brands do and figure out how they have built their brands and apply those same concepts into your stores as well. If you go out on YouTube and search up how to build a brand, I promise you the information put in that video is not going to be it. You need to search up how to have good backend flows, how to go omni-channel, how to improve supply chain, how to have good product quality. You need to be able to search up all of the things that all of these brands do and look into each and every aspect of it and then master it. Which brings me to my last and final point is laziness. This is the final point of why 99% of dropshippers fail. And I know it sounds crazy, but it is purely laziness. And so why is this? Dropshippers are lazy. They will rip ads, rip stores, rip images, rip gifts, rip offers, rip everything, and some will succeed. Some will get sales, others won't. But the truth being told is the ones who rip stuff, the ones who copy, the ones who just take things from others may get sales, but they will never last in the markets. 99% of dropshippers are lazy. They post a store, they will never edit it or optimize it. They'll never test a landing page. They will never test new products. They will never test new ads. They will never test new offers. They won't have backend flows. They won't be optimizing their offers. They won't be going on multiple channels and they won't be looking at their store as a brand. They look at it as a drop shipping store. And so if you want to be able to be in that 1% of drop shippers that actually makes significant amount of money, anywhere from 100K 
to a million dollars plus a month, you need to be looking at your store like a brand. And so when you look at your store like a brand, it comes with not being lazy. Look at your store like a brand and don't be lazy. I'm telling you, if you make that switch of actually looking at your store as a brand, focusing on how you can create an ecosystem around your store, then you will succeed. I know it sounds super simple, but it's not that easy. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of practice, and it takes a lot of repetition. But I promise you, if you make this mindset shift right now after watching this video, things will change so much better for you in the future. I promise you, go ahead and apply this. Look at your stores as actual brands. Go ahead and build the best store you've ever built before. Choose a product and validate it with somebody that has been in the market for a long time or else you'd be wasting your time trying to find products that have already been scaled in the past years ago. I highly advise you go ahead and talk to someone who's been in the market for a long time. Join an aged community where you can go ahead and talk to people who have been in the space for a while. And so go ahead, put some effort into a store, make your own offer, make your own ads, find your own product and go kill it out there. Outwork the other 99% and when you realize that the 99% are all lazy, you just have to simply work hard. So with that being said, I hope that helps. Be in the top 1% and I'll see you there.